Yep, yep, testing. All right, we're good to go. What the freak is going on with no jumper, right? What the freak is going on with Adam 22? This shit is weird. So we need to find out what the truth is. <laughs> we need to find out what the truth is. Podcast, I'm joined by D. Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm going to switch my audio over. Excuse me. Bye. I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Adam-22. Let's get right into it. Recently, Adam-22 has been in the headlines for decisions he has made in the last few weeks and also for decisions he has made in his past. These decisions are starting to expose to the world who Adam-22 truly is. Adam is being looked at in a whole new light after several of his employees decided to leave No Jumper for what appears to be a good reason. I will have to say Adam's internal so I'm saying I keep seeing all these headlines like <clears throat> by all the employees. Well, first of all, I seen the shit where he fired dude right on the stream or whatever. That was pretty. That was pretty unprofessional on his part, to be honest. So then when it was like, oh, everyone's like just quitting. Uh, you can't really be too too surprised about that. I'd be like, I'd be afraid you're about to like, you know what I'm saying? Embarrass me on like on live downfall started a couple weeks back when one of his invited guests started exposing his friend and co-host at the time house phone the guest was a transition person who claimed they had been with house phone laying it all out during the podcast information spread quickly and the internet quickly began to clown house phone this is also when some people started to look at adam 22 a certain way as it appeared adam sneak that's what i was about to say like it is that not on purpose? Like, pretty sure he knew. Why would? Because I don't know this person. I don't know if this is a popular person. But why is this person on the show being interviewed? What's for any other reason besides to expose your friend? They, maybe they had beef. Him and his friend. House phone and chose to purposely interview someone who was trying to expose his friend, giving them a platform to do it. Many people also questioned him on why he chose to even put the episode out to begin with, with Adam responding that he had asked for the exposing part of the interview to be edited out, but somehow House phone still ended up being exposed. House phone chose to quit after being clowned by the internet, feeling betrayed by Adam, and sparking the. Yikes, did he? All right, maybe I gotta, after this, I gotta get into whatever, like whatever this episode is here because i want to know did he debunk did he debunk it or was it true was it was it bs or was it true did he get exposed or yeah i'm curious the beginning of the end for adam 22's platform i'm not even like surprised about even the way you're reacting right now bro you've been like this bro you just you want to look like the good guy you want to look like you cared so much you wanted to edit it but that's just not the truth I, I mean, sat there but we I have called. everybody in this office confirmed. In my opinion, it seemed that Adam chose to purposely expose his friend for views. Or he seems like, I mean, again, I have no idea, but I would imagine he has a lot to do with his own content. And the whole like, oh, it was supposed to be edited, but like, I don't know. It just wasn't like, I don't know what happened. Don't do that. Or maybe he did it because House Phone had actually hooked up with his current fiance Lena before they got the twist, the turns. What? Together, something that even House Phone feels himself. One thing is for certain, it clearly appeared all bets were off when it came to what was considered content with Adam, as we're about to see shortly. After this all happened, Adam would once again be looked at strange when he decided to invite and interview a man by the name of Richard Spencer, who is known as a white supremacist. Richard has said a lot of disrespectful and inappropriate things about people of color several times in the past and is pretty much what he is known for. Many of Adam's own employees were shocked and upset at Adam for his decision to invite such a person on his huge platform, knowing what that man represented. One of his employees that criticized him was A.D., who spoke about how disappointed he was during a No Jumper episode. I'm a little disappointed in Adam. This guy right here, he's he said the N-word a lot of times. Um, it's obvious that he don't like black people like that. 
and the fact that he could come over here, get interviewed, and not Adam defended his decision. See, I've seen this interview, or at least like parts of it, because I like Destiny. I like this guy right here, the blue hair guy. Um, and I think that's why th this was supposed to be like a debate between, you know, right wing, left wing, liberals, conservatives, whatever. But this guy on the left here, this 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 conservative is literally, I think, like a Nazi or, or, or a white supremacist, like whatever. And so you technically gave him a, a platform to spew his white supremacy, right? Like... And it just seems like a weird thing for Adam 22 to be getting in. Like, you know, yeah, he's usually doing like the hip hop thing. The fuck is Adam 22 like the interviewing this? Like, I mean, you could argue that maybe he's somewhat of like a political figure, this like white supremacist guy, but Destiny is not like a polit, he's like a debater, I guess, like an orator. Decision by saying that he was not interviewing the man, but instead debating him. So it really shouldn't matter. The thing is, <clears throat> Adam is a hip hop based platform. I'm not sure that Adam was debating him though, but okay. Adam was more so just giving him a platform. And then I feel like it was more so Destiny who was debating him. Platform with multiple employees of color. So why would he invite someone who doesn't respect people of color onto his platform? It just once again shows that Adam doesn't care about his own employees and values views and money more than the people he claims to be friends with. After this happened, a few days later, Adam once again got caught doing his employees slash friends wrong, once again live for the world to see. A couple days back, Adam walked in during a live stream show being hosted by his employees and did something that left the internet shocked. Immediately after he walks in, Adam singles out Lush, one of his co-hosts, and begins to reprimand them live on air for all of Adam's audience to see. Adam begins to accuse Lush of betraying his trust and exposing his secrets and then fires him while the audience is watching. Lush, you What's lied up? to me. You lied to me, Lush. Uh, what? What I just tried to talk to you about in the hall? Nah. I honestly think, at least for now, maybe we could come to the bottom of this at some point. It's probably better than you. Got a technical background? Looking to go remote and get paid more? Become a software engineer in 10 months with Practicum. Learn to code real business projects, from simple web pages to complete applications. We'll teach you the full stack from scratch with line by line code review. Put your skills to work in multiple ex. Sorry. Sorry. Usually. This decision seems to have started a chain of reactions, as not long after, several of his other employees will begin to quit, one after the other. His close friend slash co-host AD, who was seen as one of the people who helped rebrand No Jumper, decided to quit while all of this was going on, and went on to accuse Adam of talking about him behind his back. This led to his other employees... So... That, that kind of tie... I'm doing good. Thank you. How you doing? Just cooling. A little bit tired, but whatever. But that kind of went into it. Was like he fired the dude on live because he uh, he was he was he was he was saying stuff. I don't know. But then it all it tied into the other thing with with talking behind eighties back. It was like he had exposed things that he knew or that he had had conversations. Like Lush had conversations with Adam Twenty Two about another person another one of his friends ad so then ad was feeling like damn you was talking about me behind my back so it went from like adam being mad at lush for saying stuff that he wasn't supposed to say and then it went and then it, that led into okay now the person was mad because they found out what was said like uh, but it doesn't it all feel pretty petty like childish T-Roll and Duno to do the same, leaving in support of AD. Not long after T-Roll and Duno left, his employee Gina also quit as she felt disrespected by the Richard Spencer interview. As all of this was happening, previous allegations resurfaced of Adam doing things he's not supposed to do with girls that are too young for him, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, then this is the next, like, there's just so many levels to this. It was like, I, I just, I was beyond curious. I needed... I, I could look into it all, but I got had to see someone exp like explain it out. I think this guy's doing a good job. Yeah, no jumper been falling apart lately, right? What? It's ex it's like exploding in front of everyone's eyes. It's like a train wreck that you can't look away from. 
This is the reason I decided to do this video in the first place, as Adam needs to be kept away from the youngins. In the original Dark Truth I did on Adam, I spoke about how Atlantic Records ended their deal with Adam after allegations had surfaced of him claiming that he had been with girls that were not old enough. Back then, Adam did everything he could to have this scraped off the internet, with for the most part, people forgetting all about it. Even I didn't see people reacting to it when I mentioned it during my video. People were more focused on the fact that he was a Masonic puppet and the fact that he also responded to me. For whatever reason, Adam firing his employees sparked the internet to want to bring up the allegations all of a sudden, which caused rapper Little Pump to come out and call out Adam for something. The fact that Little Pump is tied into this geeks me completely, but it's like it's relevant. You hate you hate to make Lil Pump relevant again, but you can't help it. It's relevant. He had done years back when Pump was only 16. Adam was girls that was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? You are a straight metal. Back when Little Pump was 16, Adam filmed himself hanging out with Little Pump while he was doing stuff with his fans. Pump even accused Adam of getting with those very same fans that were the same age as Little Pump at the time. It's becoming more and more obvious that Adam might be into some disturbing stuff, especially when we look at these old tweets. Adam's old tweets are starting to make their rounds around the oh, internet. Man, the tweets, the tweets will get you every time. Don't get on Twitter. Don't be on Twitter. The tweet's going to get you every single time. Twitter was a whole setup. Twitter Twitter has turned into, like, the ultimate self-snitching, like, uh, platform. And the internet cannot believe what they're seeing. Oh, Like, unintentionally. People kind of intentionally go on Instagram and self-snitch, like, on lives and stuff and self-snitch. I guess they're not, like, trying to. That's what they're doing. With all this Twitter stuff, Twitter, like so much stuff that people have said on Twitter, that shit always going to get resurfaced. Old tweets of Adam shows that Adam definitely had something for girls that are too young for him. In this tweet, he tells young girls Yikes. to go out with older men. Or in this tweet where he tweeted, Brandon and I are developing a new dating site for little kids. Tagline, for kids that just want to. He also tweeted out, Nah. My advice to any young girls out there, sleep with much, much older men. Oh, man. Older men. Or in this tweet where he tweeted, Brendan and I are developing a new dating site for little kids. Tagline, for kids that just want to have S word. Brandon and I what? are developing a new dating site for little kids. Tagline. Not even as like a gross, weird troll. Like, don't do it. And this looked like, what year was this? Is that 09? That says 09. Well, I don't care. That's weird. For kids that just want to. He also tweeted out, was just looking at a girl's Facebook pictures and kept going to the old ones when she was 15 and realized I thought she was hotter then. Or this tweet. This is, this is gross. What the fuck? I'm so confused right now. And my thing too, I hate when people will act like, oh, those were tweets from a long time ago. When are people going to get with their program that it was never okay to be a troll? It was never okay to be a troll. It's like people hate trolls now. We understand that trolls are usually like these young ass kids, 15, or you know what I mean? Maybe not 15, but yeah, it's like young people, young on the internet trolling, saying dumb ass shit that they probably don't even really believe or mean. And in some cases they do believe it and mean it. So I just feel like, yeah, bro, so what if you were a fucking troll when you were a kid? Like, you kind of still seem like a troll now with the stuff that you were doing on, on, on your platform, on live with the white supremacists, with your, with your friends slash coworkers. Like, you're still a troll. So don't, you really can't say like, oh, they're old. It was, it was me when I was, like, when I was younger. I've learned. I've grown. Where he said, what's with all these cute little girls adding me? Send me a message so I know who you are. Or even this tweet where he tweets, can any and all hot high school students stop following me on Instagram? I have enough temptations in my life oh my as God. it is. The worst tweet has to be this one right here that I'm not even going to attempt to read. I, I keep thinking he's done with the tweets. I keep thinking, okay, that's the last one. Oh, that's the la they just keep getting worse. Sorry, my cat's like doing weird stuff. They keep getting worse. They're saying you wouldn't. Say Wait, what?
What? It's obvious Adam-22 is into this kind of behavior, and I believe his Masonic Alliance is what's kept them from being behind bars. Now, I wasn't going to talk about this originally because I didn't want to jump on Adam. It wasn't really my point with making this podcast. The thing is, when I started to see those tweets, it just completely bothered me, and I felt that people should definitely be aware of Adam because those tweets right there were beyond inappropriate, and they, they show exactly what Adam is into. Yeah, these tweets that are surfacing are really disturbing. And not to mention, doesn't he have his own child now? And isn't it a little girl? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want men talking about his daughter the way he's been talking about these girls. Definitely not. And I don't even understand how he's saying that these were edgy jokes that he made back in 2009, 2010. That's what I'm saying. It was, but it's, it was never okay to be a troll. Still now, we get irritated at these little fucking kids who think that it's cool and it's funny to go around being trolls. Like it's never, and, and to be honest, when those kids grow up um, and some of them, do, you know, start getting some status or something like that, that shit's going to come back to bite them in their asses. Like it was never okay to be a fucking troll. I don't see what's funny about this and I don't understand how in any time period people would find this appropriate. Like, obviously, this is not something that a normal person will say or someone that's not into that kind of stuff. It's obvious that this is what Adam is into. It's crazy that it took all of this for people to start talking about it because this is something that he did years back. This is something that he's probably had been doing the entire time. And like Little Pump said, he used to go on tour with Little Pump. <laughs> Adam. And all the young girls Adam. that were around Little Pump, Adam had access to and was around and was able to have contact with. So you start to question and you start to think, what was Adam doing? And why, why was he even on tour with this young kid while he was in his 30s? You can easily see that his Masonic connection is what's keeping him from being in trouble. Yeah, they, they took away his Atlantic record deal, but he really didn't get canceled. He didn't lose his career. He kept his brand. He was able to do all the things he wanted to do. And then he, he grew his brand to the level that it is today. A lot of people are starting to see his character and the fact that he has this snake tendency. He likes to snake people and he has no problem with doing so. Yeah, it's definitely like the vibes that he gives off himself. The fact that he betrayed people he worked with. And not only that, you know, the tweets and the, the incident that he did have with the 16 year old that I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that he waited for to turn 18 years old. All of this just gives off. Yeah, they didn't even bring that up. Or maybe they will. I mean, she just did. But. Yeah, it was like he he was talking to a girl. He was like in his young 20s, like 23. He was talking to a 16-year-old. And then he like didn't talk to her because he felt weird about it because she was 16. But then he pretty much just like waited for her to become of age and then like flew to another country, flew to Canada where the age of consent is lower, first of all. Flew to Canada, like slept at her house where she lived with her like mom or her parents is so weird i hope they bring it up because i don't i'm not explaining it well but it was just so weird so bizarre and he was like no i didn't wait for her it's like he was like i didn't wait for her uh you know we just kind of life just had us find each other again but they, i don't know man it gives the vibes of someone that children should stay away from and you know one thing I've been noticing is that Adam does a real good job of trying to flip it and make it seem like he is not responsible or he's not liable for anything he's doing. Like he's been doing recently with what's going on with all his employees quitting. He's blaming the entire situation on his employee Lush saying that he told his employee Lush something in secret and something in confidence and his employee went blabbed it off to the discord and somehow it spread and AD found out what he said about him because that's what Adam was doing. Adam was talking behind AD's back and then AD felt betrayed and felt hurt that someone like Adam, who he thought was his close friend and who AD always had his back, went behind his back and was talking about him and disrespecting him. Adam flips it that the only reason he's in this mess is because he trusted in Lush, not because he was talking behind someone's back, being a bad friend. He does this a lot, again, when with the, the young girl situation. 
he makes it seem like, oh, the young girl didn't know that it was bad. It was a bad thing to talk to someone older. She didn't know that it was a bad thing. And I stopped talking to her until she turned 18. That doesn't change the fact that you felt the way about her when she wasn't that age. And then you waited until she turned that age to engage with her and do what you wanted. So it means that you were into that person before they were at that age when they were not old enough for you. And you still thought about them and waited for them to get to that age for you to do whatever you wanted with them. It shows. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. And it feels like, at the least, it's like a weird power dynamic. It feels... I don't know. This is weird. It shows that this guy has some creep vibes. It just proves that Adam will not take accountability for what he's done, and he doesn't feel sorry for what he's done, and he doesn't feel like he's done anything wrong. We also see how now, when he should have been canceled, when all the companies should have dropped him, none of that happened. He was still able to have his giant platform. He was still able to grow. And he actually even became bigger after that situation happened. You know, Adam has been... Wait, that was exposed? Hold on, what? Get to that age for you to do whatever you wanted with them. It shows that this guy has some creep vibes. It just proves that Adam will not take accountability for what he's done. And he doesn't feel sorry for what he's done. And he doesn't feel like he's done anything oh, wrong. Yeah, it did get exposed. So there was like a no jumper episode or some crap. And these two dudes came in and got on live and started. They were, they're called like the curve, the perv busters on Instagram or something. They came in on the live and were pretty much like confronting Adam about the 16 year old situation. We also see how now, when he should have been canceled, when all the companies should have dropped him, none of that happened. He was still able to have his giant platform. He was still able to grow. And he actually even became bigger after that situation happened. You know, Adam has been showing for the longest now that he values views more than he values his employees and his friends. Like we saw a couple months back with the Kelpie situation and Almighty Suspect, when Almighty Suspect in the middle of the interview attacked Kelpie, and the No Jumper crew just kept filming the whole thing. The situation eventually got put out in a video and Adam got millions of views from it and reaped the benefits from it while the internet basically clowned the Kelpie kid. Adam didn't care. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to watch that too. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch that too. Care that this moment made him look unprofessional. He didn't care about what happened to the invited guests. He knew that this was gonna go viral. So he even got Kelpie to sign off to let this be put out. He wanted this to be put out. And I honestly would feel like this would be an embarrassing moment for my platform, but it just shows that Adam doesn't have any morals. And I'm not at all trying to judge Adam. This is not my goal with this. I'm just trying to make people aware of who Adam truly is because he likes to hide who he truly is. And that's exactly what Lucifer does. You can definitely see that he only cares about views and the clicks. From the little bit of research that I've done about Adam and gone through his YouTube and seen the stuff that he has posted, you can definitely tell he's had people there, if I'm not mistaken, boot gang, who literally passed out during an interview. And did he, you know, bother to help them or get them help or even cut it or not show it? No, he continued. He continued to do his podcast. And then after that, proceed to post it for the views because all he cares about is money oh, the man. whole ad and lust situation yeah that's messed up that's messed up okay hold on no jumper fight breaks out the kid's name was like kelpie oh yeah fight breaks out they only have like a nine minute video of this all right whatever skin feel tight and dry try hydro boost gel cleanser to cleanse and hydrate. Neutrogena. Lowe's knows saving time and money is a top priority for pros. That's why we're introducing the all- No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, I'm pretty excited because we have somebody who's- uh, Not anymore. Making a big splash on the scene. Yes, sir. Kelby is in the Hello, building. Hello, Kelby, uh, also known as Kelby the P. A matter of fact, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me broke. So That's yeah, right. Out here today. And then co-hosting with me. Vic says Gabriel Disparger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Almighty for the album, because the record too short, you dig what I'm saying? No, the real deal, you know what I'm saying? Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? Not the impersonation. Damn, he just came with a whole little monologue like OJ the Juice. <laughs> That's fire. Um, okay, so I wanted to like hop in here yeah. and attempt to, you know, have a conversation that perhaps can build on some of the other conversations that have already happened. Yeah. So let's <laughs> let's lay this all out. So yeah. you had a very, very uh viral appearance on Soft White Underbelly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell me what happened. Like what what was your life like in the lead up to that? Why'd you decide to do that? 
uh, in the lead up to that, I was uh, I was hustling. I don't want to say specifics, but I was doing a little a little shit in the streets. And then basically, I was like, you know I what? I thought you've already filled this in about what you were doing. Yeah, in the I mean, well, well, Sharp made some accusations about what I was doing. I don't want to admit or uh, deny those, but okay. yeah, basically, I was getting money and shit. And then that hustle came to an abrupt end when I got raided. So then I switched into another one because I seen some people that needed help, and you know, I just jumped into the game. Describe getting raided though. Oh, uh, well, I was outside vaping and shit, and like, you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside, um, and basically. Just got a no-knock raid. They came in. They pulled me outside some undercovers, and they, like, drew their guns on me and shit like that, put me in the squad car. And then they all just were, like, inside my house and, like, yo, we got a warrant to search your person and your, your vehicle and, and your house. But they were suspicious of you. Pro- yeah, they, they were trying to say in that I was, like, you know, drug dealing or, or something like that. Okay. And but you don't have a case as a result of this? Uh, nah, I never heard back from them, honestly. Wait, what? Who is this guy? Fuck is Kelpie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so then you decide, like, how did the software underbelly opportunity even come about? Uh, well, I've been trying to do some, like, online stuff and just get that internet money and also promote uh, my girl's OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, so basically, check out Crystal Roses on OnlyFans, by the way. She's going up. Um, but now, basically, I was just trying to promote that stuff. So I went on Soft White, talking about my story. And then, yeah, that just kind of blew up from there. So what was the feedback like? Like, what would you describe as the most common comments that you saw in response to the soft vulnerability thing that were really yeah. driving it being viral oh just a lot of hateful shit about the way i was dressed mostly people was like and also i feel like they took a lot of the shit i said out of context like when i said i was homeless that was because i just got evicted after the raid the apartments had like kicked us out with some section eight that i was staying with my family and the girls so they kicked us out of that and then a lot of people were like oh why is he dressed like a party city pimp fake chains and all that but you know it's all real you know the the outfit i feel like that's the most thing that people said was being disrespectful but i was just doing that to get attention but all my jewelry is legit and stuff so uh, been diamond tested, suspect you know. fill me in on that like is there yeah. is there something expected of you before you've earned the stripes to wear who the fuck is kelpie i just i can't continue this without knowing who little kelpie okay a rapper i figured Okay, I, I figured. All right. Anyway. There's certain types of like pimp outfits. Nah, it wasn't even that. It was like we felt like that shit, like the equivalent for to to, to get everybody to understand, kind of like kind of like blackface. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was kind of like like it, it looked like a costume. You you get what I'm saying? Right. It's like he I came don't, I don't in here. How that's a he came in here wearing that shit like in his head, like oh, this is what pimps is supposed to look like. I got my little dollar sign chain, my yeah, little fur I got coat. Two of them. <sighs> but yeah. do you like, do you feel like you know you could have rocked the same fit or something similar? But I mean, I'm true to this, so of course I could. But that's the so same thing. Though. Like I'm black, blackface. You get what I'm saying? Like okay. it's, it's like wearing blackface. But so, so it's like, but aren't there I, white pimps at these pimp conventions yeah, yeah. and white shit? White folks, white of folks course. is a popping ass white pimp. And you didn't I even know who he was until right now. But I know who he is. I know who he is. Wait, these guys are pimps? They're not rappers? They're pimps? I asked you that last interview, you had no clue. <laughs> you didn't now ask me you about no white the, pimps last time? The nigga Sharp said, you know who the fuck white folks is? You was like, no, I don't. You didn't know who the fuck <laughs> that was? He told me who that was on FaceTime before the interview Exactly. Happened. You yeah, didn't so know, didn't who, know who, who white folks was. was until we informed you. Until, until Sharp informed me on a FaceTime until, before this interview. Until a pimp informed yeah. you yeah. who white... Who, exactly. But you, you know what I'm no saying? There's white until, pimps out there. Until somebody informed him before his interview. how it's blackface. That seems like you're bringing up racism where it doesn't need to be No, 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 no. That was just a... um. That was just an analogy to get everybody to understand. I'm not saying that you were doing. It's, it's you said an analogy I was doing blackface to basically. get everybody to understand. Yeah, because you 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 pulled up in a pimp costume. He was saying it was like blackface, but is, is it the fact costume. that he's but, white in general, or is the fact that no, he's no, no, so no, no, new no. in the game? It's just he's it's, it's just because he's not really doing that shit in his head. <laughs> he came, but I like, am really doing you that shit. My saying? pockets like, will prove came, that. That's like. What's a good analogy? Well, I just gave one, like blackface, but let's do another one. Like, like, like a nigga who go to the gym with all the shit, and he looking like he finna ball the fuck up. You feel me? And then when he get the ball, he can't do shit. But he came in his head like this: is what ballers look like. I'm gonna get the headband, the socks, and all that <laughs> shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, but what if, that's what, what if I'm he saying. starts learning how to play ball, and then he starts balling harder than other motherfuckers? Right? Is he still impersonating at that point? Everybody's a little kid trying <laughs> yeah, to be like Michael we, Jordan we at one point, somewhere. right? And then right? Uh, the next day, boom! Yeah. You are Michael Jordan. You gotta crawl before you can walk, bro. 
So everybody starts somewhere. And I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing. He's just jumping on that because Adam gave him that. Nah, 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 nah. This one was crazy. Oh, for real. <laughs> I can't wait until it gets to the fight part. Because I feel like we're all the same, no matter what color we are. But I feel like it's because of my age and because of how new I was to the game that y'all just attacked me for that it. That has nothing to do with that. I don't really? Feel like, I don't feel like you're That's new to shit. That's not what it seemed like. You hate I don't white feel people. Like you're, no, not at all. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator for your SoundCloud career. You're not new to shit, nigga. But, bro, I don't even here. focus on music. You came up in here I focus talking on about the streets. You, I focus on getting money. You came in here talking about you professing old school, and then you was like, we, yeah. we actually, where you learned this shit from, and then you said, yeah, I watched you. I watched Sharp on YouTube. Like, yeah. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Because I ain't have no, not some, I have no mentors in real you life. you watch on, on, on YouTube and in person. And, and start nigga, getting money from get it? Get in the fucking streets, nigga. And get what some real experience. What you think I've been doing? Money, but money, get the fuck out of All these Every drill day. kids Every are looking day. at older drill rappers experience. and fucking getting but influenced really by that, right? But they're outside drilling, though. But he's really outside pimping. Nah. Nah, really. Nah. Really, I brought two bitches with me. I ain't never seen none of your bitches. That don't mean shit. He got some work on the couch. none of your bitches. Right. None of your bitches. Because I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck I look like bringing some bitches in here? Really? You're a clown, nigga. You go okay, that's facts though. That's facts though. The fact like, oh, there were bitches in here. It kind of feels like it's for, for play, for show. You know what I mean? And that if you were truly a pimp, I don't think you would feel the need to bring one of your bitches to the show. She's not even working. She's just there to be on your arm and to be a um a prop to be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a pimp, and here's my bitches to prove it. Like, yeah, that seems like BS. Cap, this call cap on that. You gonna get you life for this it. shit. You gonna get life for playing so around, nigga. I I'm really doing this shit. What the life. fuck do Come I look like? Now. Bringing Sounds some prostitutes fuck, in here. Sounds niggas get the book through at them we for this money, shit. This nigga's a clown. You a fucking hater, bro. This nigga's a clown and impersonator, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a clown. Nigga, you're a clown, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a bum, nigga. Go get some money, nigga. You ain't no nobody track, Mr. Old School. You ain't got no fucking money, nigga. Pull some money out. You broke ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You's a bum. My bitches get me money. I pull out of here. Them bitches dusty. This fuck. fucking day, bro. Bitch is dusty and you ain't got fuck. no bitches. You ain't I, got no that's fucking cool. bitches. I I'll say that. That's cool. You ain't got no bitches. Because right, when right, the police watching, I don't have no bitches. I'm a podcaster. Let me just interrupt. That's facts though. Again, what's up with the self snitching? What's up with the self snitching sitting here talking about I'm a pimp. I'm a pimp. I got prostitutes. Relax. And I'm real only quick. fans manager when the police let, right. Let me just Clown interrupt ass, real quick. Nigga. Yeah, you, bro. All right. Hold on. <laughs> People try to pull that ball. pull that out on Sharp and stuff too. Like, yeah. where's your bit? I'm gonna be real. Like, they me and Sharp have been in the same group chat for like a couple of years at this yeah. point. So I've seen some of the girls they spends time with. He definitely has some attractive women in his life. I have no idea what their relationship is, but also, you know, you gotta respect it. Like, fucking, if I had like all kinds of girls, I would probably try to keep some kind of distance between my professional life and bringing chicks around Thank all my you. employees and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. I am somebody who lives my whole fucking life on the internet, so it might be kind of different for me. But yeah. I mean, just because he don't necessarily, I, I seen him, I seen some women trailing him before. <laughs> <laughs> niggas better. Niggas I really know, it. nigga. I'm I on tracks, boy. Fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? I'm little Who Kelpie. Who are you? Kelpie no one knows you. <laughs> Kelpie the mother. Exactly, man. Who even are you? I'm a little Kelpie. Kelpie the pimp. Stop it. You need to stop this. I think this dude deserves to get his ass beat by the end of this one. Looks like it's coming up in a couple minutes here. Kelpie the pimp. clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, Fuck bro. Out Kelpie the clown. Facts. Are you? Kelpie no one knows him. <laughs> Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie pimp. the clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, fuck bro. Out of here. Fucking Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting said money what? every day. I said you Ben said... Franklin knows who the who? fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch? Ben Franklin. Though? I'm calling you a bitch. Let me spit in his face. Bit in his face, though. I was in here chilling. Call me no bitch. We was all trying to be in here. What's wrong with you, nigga? What's wrong with bro? Oh, his oh, oh, face must be bleeding if they uh, blurt it out. Hold on, I gotta find my watch. Oh man. I didn't even have to do all that, Slim. Nigga, call me a bitch. Oh, you is a bitch. Stop fucking looking at you. Come on. 
He said, I mean, look at you. Come on. Wait a minute. No, 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 Go back to that. Go back to no that. Jumpers. He said, look at you, man. Come on. I, I think he said, I told you. What? Hold on. Oh, 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 I told you, come here and do all that extra shit. You think it'll be professional, sir? He said, I told you not to come here and do all that extra shit. Be professional. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. That was crazy. They don't got the, uh, <laughs> niggas sure. better, niggas really know, it. nigga. I'm I on track, boy. Fuck out of here. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? I'm little Kelpie. Kelpie, no Kelpie the pimp. <laughs> Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie the clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, fuck bro. Out of here. Fucking look Ben look Franklin look knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting money what? every day. I said you Ben said Franklin knows who the fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch? I'm calling you a bitch. Okay, I don't think I was supposed to show that on Twitch. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I was supposed to show that. Sheesh. I don't know though. Who are these bitches? I have no idea. Well, I think they're pimps, apparently. <laughs> I think they're pimps. Oh, man. He said, who are these bitches? I didn't know. I had to find out. Yeah, they're pimps, apparently. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to hide this for a second. <laughs> 